Hi, this is Cindy with The Cartographer. Today I'm doing a quick tutorial on clipping masks. These uh, clipping masks are actually the types that I designed for my templates um, and for the Photoshop actions that build you the instant templates as well that include clipping masks. So this is for a clipping mask. Let's get started. Again, okay, I'm gonna go over to my actions. Click over here on the right. Find the, hmm. This is the place photo template diptych. I'm gonna do the wide angle left. Okay, and there it is. It built the actual template for me. I don't have to actually drag a template from wherever. I just automatically with the photo action that I created have this template built for me. So over um, to the right, your layers panel. Okay, here's your group folder. You can either, if it doesn't automatically open for you, when you do click uh, play on the action, just click on the little arrow and the folder will drop down for you and open. So you have all your layers here. Normally when I design a template, I like to highlight in green where the clipping masks are so that it's easier for you to find. Sometimes um, I add extra steps in between and uh, somehow I lose my highlight. In the event that that happens like it did here, just go by the word clipping mask. Every layer that is a clipping mask layer will read as such, clipping mask. So there's two photos here, the large wide and a narrow vertical. So what you wanna do is just to place the large left photo and I've named it here left photo so you know which one it belongs to, right photo, you know it's this one. Just go to clipping mask, okay? When you click on the clipping mask, all you have to do is go over to File and Place. This will take you to where your photos are, okay? If your photos are in a particular um, external, go to that or just find it on your desktop or wherever it is you keep your images. I just so happen to put a few on my desktop. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and click this one just for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna drag it over. So, you know, you can drag it um, in order to enlarge the image and not to be distorted, okay? Make sure you hold down your Shift key. Now, if you're on a Mac, to make it even easier on you, you can hold down Shift and Option at the same time. If you're on a PC, hold down Shift and Alt at the same time and just stretch the corners and this will expand the image for you all at the same time. Whoops, hang on a minute here, I'm moving it without. You don't have to hold down Shift and Alt to move it, that's just to actually um, expand the image, make it bigger. Now the reason why you hold down Shift or Shift Option or Shift Alt at the same time is because this will prevent your image from becoming pixelated, looking stretched. And so that way this will avoid it. That's why you do that, so it will keep it in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to accept the change because that's just where I want it. So I'm going to hit um, check mark here or you can hit enter. And there it is. The clipping mask automatically placed the image right where I needed it. I don't have to go and create a clipping mask. It's already been done. So if you want to place your right image, okay, you don't go to the right photo. You go to the clipping mask, okay? Clipping mask will read click here to place photo below. I wrote that just in the event that you're not sure. So highlight or select your clipping mask layer, okay? Go to file and place. Go to the folder where you keep your images. I'm just going to add this one, okay? and it automatically brings me right to where I need to be. Now, in the event that it happened to land right behind here, don't panic, okay, it's okay. Just drag the image over. And again, if you wanna make this a little bit bigger, if you want your image to be bigger, you know, you wanna just place it in the right place, hold down your Shift and Option key or Alt key at the same time. Hold it down while you're pulling on your image to make it bigger, okay, let go and then move it wherever it is you want it, okay? You're doing that so that your image will stay in proportion and not look pixelated, stretched out, okay? So I'm going to accept my change, and that's it. My images are done, that's it. All I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to Layer, Flatten, and that's it, my image is flattened. Now what I would do from here, let's say that you like the size, okay? 
uh, you keep it as it is and then you go to your um, actions and you can play your um, sharpen action I'm actually going to include one in this set so you should have one that you can apply for your images and if you're going to um, post this on the web, say Facebook or your blog or whatever that may be, just go to uh, File, Save for the Web, okay? Um, if you're going to um, size it down, say this is too big and you want in a specific size for your blog, once you go to Layer and you flatten, what you want to do is you want to go to Image, Image Size, and then you want to change the image size, okay? And um, and go through that portion first. Once you, you um, size your image, then you want to apply your sharpening action. And then from there, you go to File, Save for the Web. And, you know, apply it to whatever blog, website, Facebook, whatever that may be. Now, if you want to print this, then after you flatten, you apply your sharpening action. And then you go to um, Save As. JPEG quality 10 or higher and then you save it in your printing file desktop wherever it is you keep those and that's it you're done so this is one of the actual clipping mask templates um, it's an instant diptych generator but it does include the actual clipping masks and this is the one that you would place um, you can look um, you can find us on Etsy uh, for uh, look for Flickr photographer it's one word and also Facebook Thank you and I hope you enjoy these.